Hey everyone, welcome back to Bio School. This is Gayatri. In today's session, we are going to learn about interrupted matting and how this technique is used to map bacterial genes. So let's begin and know in details about it. So first, what is interrupted matting? It is a gene mapping technique in which bacterial conjugation is disrupted or interrupted after specific time interval so interrupted matting it is a gene mapping technique in which bacterial conjugation is disrupted after specific time interval so what is conjugation conjugation it is the process of transfer of genetic material between two bacteria by physical contact right let's say the conjugation between hfr and f minus hfr means high frequency recombinants let's say this one is the bacterial chromosome this one is f plasmid so when the f plasmid it integrates into bacterial chromosome then that results in high frequency recombinants okay so this is hfr that is high frequency recombinant where the f plasmid it integrates into bacterial chromosome then that bacteria is known as high frequency recombinant and what is f minus f minus bacteria means that bacteria which lacks the f that lacks the f plasmid or f factor okay so f minus it has only the bacterial chromosome only the bacterial chromosome is present and it lacks the f plasmid okay that's why it is known as f minus so let's conjugate between these two hfr and f minus train so first what will happen conjugation it is the process of transfer of genetic material by physical contact so first both the cell they will be connected with each other by conjugation tube okay so let's join these two cells they join by or they connected by a conjugation tube then in the next step the genetic material it will move from the donor to the recipient cell so which one is the donor donor is high frequency recombinant and f factor it will move first to the f minus cell so first of all there will be a nick on f factor okay let's say at this point then this f factor it will start to move from hfr strain to f minus okay so along with that f factor some of the bacterial or the portion of the bacterial chromosome okay along with the f factor some of the bacterial chromosome also move into the f minus cell right it, in conjugation between hfr and f minus it will result in hfr strain and f minus as only a portion of only a portion of f factor is transport right not the complete f factor that's why it is in f minus okay why the portion of f factor is transport not all the f factor because the interruption or the nick is formed at the middle of f factor so the end which is present at the phi prime end that is transport to the recipient bacteria then the other portion that which is present at the three prime end that that only transport to the recipient bacteria when the entire bacterial chromosome is transport but for the transfer of entire bacterial chromosome here we are taking bacteria as e coli it takes around 100 minutes so for transfer of entire bacterial chromosome it takes 100 minutes in e coli but before that time before the 100 minutes 
what happens the matting it breaks okay before that time the matting it's interrupted or matting breaks so is the matting is breaks before that time so that results in the interrupted matting okay so and this interrupted matting technique it is used to map the bacterial gene it is used to map the bacterial genes by determining by determining the sequence in which donor genes enter recipient cells okay this technique it is used to map the bacterial gene by determining the sequence in which the donor gene it enter the recipient cell as i told you along with the f factor along with the f factor some of the bacterial gene is also transport so the sequence in which the bacterial gene is transport to the recipient cell recipient cell from from that we can map the bacterial gene okay and this interrupted matting it can also be done artificially so how can we will do it artificially for doing artificially first mix hfr strain okay with f minus strain then interrupt the conjugation interrupting kor na gale se karibo interrupting conjugation at certain interval interrupting conjugation at certain interval by breaking the cells by breaking cells apart in high speed blender okay interrupted conjugation at certain interval of time by breaking the cells apart in high speed blender let's say after 10 minutes they will break the cells apart in high speed blender and find out the gene that are transport from the donor to the recipient similarly after 20 minutes after 30 minutes like this and the relative distance between the genes okay the gene that the transport from the donor to the recipient the distance between the genes it is shown in minutes okay it is shown in minutes as i told you before that for transferring or taking the whole e coli chromosome from donor to the recipient it takes around 100 minutes okay so the distance between the gene it is expressed in minutes so in e coli how the gene mapping is done so let's say the different hfr strain in which the f dna is integrated at different different site so this one is the bacteria and this one is the bacterial chromosome and this one is the f plasmid the red one is f plasmid is i okay so let's say the f plasmid it can integrated over here it can here and it can be here at any point okay so by employing by a, by employing different hfr strain okay in which f dna integrated at different site of circular chromosome so let's say this a plasmid it is integrated integrated here then it will it will form the hfr strain 1 and there it forms the hfr strain 2 and here it will form the hfr strain 3 okay so by doing this it is possible to construct the entire gene map of e coli and the entire map of gene of e coli it contains how many genes it contains about 2000 genes so hope you understand what is interrupted matting interrupted matting means it is matting is interrupted or matting is stopped at a particular time interval that is known as interrupted matting and interrupted matting it is seen in bacterial conjugation time okay if you will do conjugation between hfr strain and f minus strain then 
the entire bacterial chromosome it cannot move from the donor to the recipient cell it is it is breaked it is it is interrupted after a particular interval of time period okay that is known as interrupted mating this interrupted mating it is used to map, map the bacterial gene by determining the sequence of genes that moves from the donor to recipient it can also be done in artificially by first it will mix the hfr strain and f minus strain then interrupt the conjugation at certain interval of time by breaking the cells apart at high speed blender okay so by putting the mixing the cell then separate the cell in high speed blender so the matting it will be breaked okay so it's a different time period the order or the sequence of the gene that is transport from the donor to the recipient by using that bacterial gene can be mapped let's solve some question to have a clear idea about the topic let's see this question the distance between bacterial genes is determined from interrupted matting experiments are measured in units of in interrupted matting the bacterial gene distance it is measured in time so what will be this unit it is this unit is in minutes okay the correct answer is option b so an interrupted matting experiment was performed between hfr it is streptomycin sensitive okay streptomycin sensitive means it cannot grow on medium if streptomycin is present streptomycin sensitive a plus b plus c plus and f minus it is streptomycin resistance streptomycin resistance means if in the medium streptomycin is present then also it can grow streptomycin resistance a minus b minus c minus strain the genotype of majority of streptomycin resistant x conjugates after 10 20 and 30 minutes of interrupted matting are given below okay so at different time interval the gene order is given the most probable gene order would be so first we have to find out at 10 minutes which gene is moved only a plus okay at 10 minutes a plus then go for the 20 minutes 20 minutes let's see only the c plus okay 20 minutes c plus then 30 minutes b plus 30 minutes b plus so what will be the correct gene order it is a c and b okay so the option d is correct answer okay nothing we have to do in interrupted matting only you have to find out the gene order based on the time they transport okay based on the time like at the 10 minutes a then 20 c and then in 30 minutes b so the correct order is a c and b this question it is from 2017 december okay let's see this question the following table show mapping data from three interrupted mating experiment using three different hfr strain and an f minus strain okay here the three different hfr strain so as i have explained you in theory that uh, this one is the bacterial chromosome and let's say this one is the f plasmid depends on the site of integration let's say if it is a plasmid it is integrated here then it will form the hfr strain one if it is integrated here then that will be hfr strain two and if it is here then it will be hfr strain three okay similarly three different hfr strains and an f minus strain f minus strain means that lacks the f factor okay and the appearance of gene in f minus cell is given okay the following answer are derived the order of gene so we have to first find out the order of gene then distance between the gene of course the distance between the gene in bacterial it is in minutes right so let's find out the gene order how can we will find out the gene order first look at hfr strain one and the genes is e then f then c efc then d and b okay then go for the hfr strain two gene is b the sim so similar gene just write down just below that b d c 
F. So here E is absent and G is present in that. So let me write down G. Then go for the third gene. It is similarly D, C, F, then E, then G. Put it in. Let's put it in a gene map. So first it will be okay. E, F, C, D, B, then G. So in the first it is E, F, C, D, B. Here E, F, C, D, B. Then in second G, F, C, D, B. Okay, E is absent. So let's say G, F, C, D, B. And third one it is G, E, F, C, D, G, then E, then F, C, D. Okay, this is gene order. So what is the correct gene order? The correct gene order is E, then G, then B, then D, then C and F. So the correct answer is option P. Okay. Then we have to find out the distance between F and G. Let's see the F and G is here. So just 63 minus 31. It will be 32. Okay, this one is correct. Then let's go for the distance between F and B. F and B. 54 minus 24 is 30. Okay, this is 30. Is correct. Then the distance between C and E. C and E. C is 34 and E is 6. 34 minus 6 is 28. Yes, here it is 28. Then B and C. B is 54 and C is 34. So, 54 minus 34. 54 minus 34 is 20. So, this one is also correct. So, the correct options are P, R and S. That option A is correct answer. So, this type of question you will get from interrupted matting and it's really very easy to solve. So this type of question you will get from interrupted matting. Hope this video it will help you a lot in solving the questions from interrupted matting. Thank you so much for joining me today. Still if you have any confusion then please put a comment in the comment section down below. Bye bye see you in next video till then keep learning.